hey guys it's Ken Coleman Authors here this video has been long awaited like I filmed it ages ago and you guys already seen it on my Instagram and my TikTok but I didn't get around to editing it until now um, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started So I felt like my first impressions wasn't that fair so I did use it for another week. This is my initial try with the gouaches and yeah after this accidental ASMR section I will speak about my initial thoughts, what I think of it after using it a couple of times and if I recommend it as well as answer a few questions that you guys have. So my preconceptions of this palette was because it was a jelly gouache I kind of thought that it wasn't going to be very vibrant or as thick as the gouache that I was using before which was the Winsor & Newton but I was actually wrong after using it a couple of times I um, had a very fair ch chance of seeing how the colours work. As you saw earlier, I did use the Fabriano um, Artistico paper, but after I finished, or while using it I guess, I found it to be a little bit chalky and I think it's because it soaks up a lot of water, like it's really good at soaking up a lot of water, unlike my other papers that I've tried, well <laughs> I used the other paper, I can't actually say the name so I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it yeah it just works perfectly and it's not chalky as I first thought when trying that paper but yeah I actually really loved the palette I think I use it about um, on three different paintings now and I kind of mix it with the Winsor & Newton sometimes but I really enjoy the pigmentation and the brightness and the colours because um, I have the Winsor & Newton but sometimes the colours get very dulled down when mixing um, which that doesn't happen with the um, Himi gouache set and I think it's because there is a lot of more shades like orange that I don't have in a tube, um, bright pink etc. Oh and a purple, purple is just so useful. Also I've realised I love, I love, love, love how it blends compared to the other gouache. Um, Someone actually asked me, what is your favourite brand of gouache? I actually used to use the Winsor & Newton and now I use the Hemi. I only own two <laughs> um, brands, but yeah, I can see a difference in how they both work. So I found that the Winsor & Newton dissolves quicker with the water than the Hemi gouache. And that can be good in some ways, but really bad in the other. So I really like the Winsor & Newton for it. Um, for the ability that it can reactivate and I can mix colours in a palette and if it, even if it dries out um, I can re still reuse the colour and if you've seen my previous video you, you would have seen that I mixed um, skin tones that I always use um, and I always have the same colour palette which I like um, but it's harder to do that with the Hemi gouache but when placing it down on paper and wanting to blend the other colour is harder to activate so it creates a more seamless blend um, whereas the Winsor & Newton reactivates obviously and it scrubs the underneath layer and it makes it really patchy which I don't like. How thick should the paper be for using gouache? Um, I think it should at least be 160 GSM. Really the thicker the better but Again, if you use your gouache in a certain way, like add more water, I think it would be best to use watercolour paper. I always use watercolour paper. Um, here and there I'll use my actual sketchbook papers um, with the Winsor & Newton gouache that is. Um, I haven't actually tried it with the Himi gouache set, but yeah, it works fine and I think it's 160 GSM, so yeah. Someone asked if it was worth buying for beginner gouache and I think definitely 
um, I think you should invest in a better quality paper, preferably like a multimedia sketchbook or a watercolour pad. Someone asked about the drying process of it compared to acrylic and oils and I think it dries quite immediately depending on what paper you use and how thick you use it again. Um, like if you add more water the drying process is going to be um, prolonged whereas usually when I put just like the tiniest bit of water just so it can like run smoothly on the page then that almost dries immediately and it does dry in a matte kind of like texture unlike acrylic acrylic is very acrylic um, dries shiny unlike a gouache and oil takes its time when drying it usually takes maybe longer than two days three days I'm not really sure because I haven't used it for that much but I think that's why people use it it's because um, the drying time is prolonged so you can always go back to your painting and paint on top of like wet medium a lot of people ask what's the difference um, between gouache and other mediums like acrylic and watercolour and a simple way to explain it is it's literally like an acrylic medium that dries down matte um, but has the same abilities as watercolour so it can like um, reactivate it with water unlike acrylic and that's why I kind of love the both of them I really love the opacity of the acrylic and I really love watercolour for its ability to be kind of like melted with water. Someone also asked um, how long it takes me to create one piece and usually um, for one piece it takes me like a day. I usually set like a day for painting and a day for sketching because it takes me really long um, and usually I can finish a painting from like a two hour sitting depending on the medium. I find um, watercolour I can finish quicker and with gouache it usually takes me like four hours plus um, so yeah it does take a long time but you just have to go with it and trust the process I think that's my biggest tip is to trust the process of gouache um, and yeah is it for the video i hope i answered your questions um clearly and that you found this video helpful on whether to buy the Hemi gouache palette or not i think you should <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye